You're watching KATC TV3 Acadiana's News Channel. Once again, voted best newscast in Louisiana. Attorneys move one step closer in the fight to consolidate law enforcement in Iberia Parish. Good evening, everyone. Thanks for joining us. The fight to consolidate New Iberia's police department with the sheriff's office is moving along, but it is far from over. Fight for contamination. Mars Services is paying for the cleanup on its own. So far, the bill totals more than $5 million. The company has not been fined for any illegal dumping, and its cleanup has been voluntary. Two Iranian security guards attacks on U.S. forces. A roadside bomb killed three Marines in Baghdad today, and Keith Garvin has more on the first full day of sovereignty in Iraq. It's a bit of a beach bummer for folks planning a getaway to Sippermore Point and farther west in Texas. At 510, we'll tell you why some beaches are closed to swimmers. And at 512, more on a couple accused of trying to sell their baby out of a duffel bag. Some pretty heavy rain showers across Acadiana right now. We begin with power Doppler 3000. Actually, a 24-hour forecast, 50% chance for rain tonight. We'll keep that rain chance at 40% for tomorrow. Now power Doppler 3000, where we're showing you some heavy showers across Lafayette Parish, stretching into Acadia Parish. Near Church Point, some heavy rain there. And in southeast, uh, or southwest, rather, Lafayette Parish, near Judeason Ridge, some pretty heavy showers right now. We'll continue to monitor the weather situation and have a complete look at your forecast coming up in about 10 minutes. You're watching news that gets to the point with White Harris, Julie Kelly, and weather with Storm Team 3 Chief Meteorologist Rob Perillo. This is KATC TV3, Acadiana's news channel at 5. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks a lot, David. Well, victims of last month's flooding have until tomorrow to get service at the FEMA Disaster Recovery Centers in Lafayette and Jeff Davis Parishes. Those centers are at Karen Crow High School and the Lake Arthur City Hall. But help is still as close as a phone call to apply for disaster assistance or to check on the status of an application. You can call FEMA at 1-800-621-FEMA. FEMA, that's 3362. And Julie, what did you just kick the telephone? I just dropped my makeup container. Oh, Sorry goodness. about that. It's a disaster. I didn't mean to make too much that's noise. Okay. And let's check in with Darla to see what's really going on. The important stuff. The important at six. stuff. Here we go. Here's what's coming up at six, guys. Hundreds of Louisiana National Guard troops will be home for a week's leave this Friday and will be there in the excitement. We'll have details of Operation Independence Day, Acadiana Caravan coming up at six. Also coming up, Lots of folks will be traveling this 4th of July and tempted to use those cell phones on the road. An important safe family's warning to avoid driving distractions. Plus, diving for golf balls proved deadly for one Louisiana man. We'll have that story and a whole lot more tonight on Acadiana's News Channel at 6. Julie, Hoy. Okay, got it. it. Got it's the makeup. Back, yes. We are back on track. <laughs> We're Go back ahead. in business. Yeah. Well, still ahead on Acadiana's News Channel at 5. Autism ...has sent the stock markets higher. As we go to break, let's take a look at the final numbers from Wall Street. The Dow gaining 56 points. The NASDAQ was 15 points higher at about 2,035. The S&P 500 gaining almost three points. It's a lot regular menagerie. That big? No. Wow. That would be yeah. tasty. It, hey, he's, he, he's an artiste. He's a singer. We're not supposed to eat him. <laughs> well, that's it for Gadiana's News Channel at 5. Whoops. Whatever. We'll be back in 30 minutes with the latest news, weather, and sports. ABC World News Tonight is there. When you watch a KATC TV3 newscast, you can count on getting all sides of the story. You'll get news reports that are clear and concise, reporting that is fair from a team you can trust, a team that understands what's important to you and your family, a team that knows your community. And that is why, once again, the Associated Press has named KATC TV3, Acadiana's news channel, the best newscast in Louisiana. For some reason, Park sees more high winds than any other community east of Lafayette. It has something to do with its proximity to the swamp, and we have the landmass to the west. It's kind of like a micrometeorological event every time in St. Martin Parish, and sometimes we see damaging winds that are a lot worse in Parks or Bro Bridge than they were in Lafayette. Rob Perillo, one of the local news experts at KATC TV3, news that gets to the point. When you watch a KATC TV3 newscast, you can count on getting all sides of the story. You'll get news reports that are clear and concise, reporting that is fair, from a team you can trust, 
A team that understands what's important to you and your family. A team that knows your community. And that is why, once again, the Associated Press has named KATC TV3, Acadiana's news channel, the best newscast in Louisiana. 256th home. Now you can drop by the station to pick them up or look for our crews covering the homecoming. They'll be glad to give you one. The players in the tug of war over the new Iberia Police Department spent most of this day in court. As KATC's Tanya Lacoste found out, they didn't make much progress. Tanya, the judge ordered members of the new Iberia Policemen's Association to come up with bond money for their lawsuit to stop consolidation. Why is that? Well, posting bond hoit is a legal procedure in a case like this where one party is trying to stop the other from taking some kind of action before trial. And because the officers are trying to stop consolidation, Judge William Hunter ordered they either pay $5,000 each or a total of $15,000. All right. Well, thank you, Tanya, and we know that you will keep us posted. You're watching news that gets to the point with White Harris, Darla Montgomery, Sports with Scott Brasda, and Weather with Storm Team 3 Chief Meteorologist Rob Perillo. This is KATC TV3, Acadiana's news channel at 6. Live from the Storm Team 3 Weather Lab, featuring Power Doppler 3000, the most powerful live Doppler radar on the Gulf Coast, here's Storm Team 3's David Duckett. Good evening, Katie, and a little bit of sunshine today, but definitely heavy in the cloud department. We picked up quite a few clouds across the ice as it is without one. Scott's in now. Time to talk sports and big trade in the NBA. We'll tell you who's going where. Some stars on the move. Sports next. It's time for sports action with KATC sports director Scott Brasda. We start in the NBA. Last week, the words surrounding a rumored trade of superstars were it's going to happen today. The word surrounding that trade, it's happened. Take a look at your weekend. And that's it for our 6 o'clock report. We'll see you